comic book guy are getting married. But comic book guy doesn't seem to have a job or make any money. Lawyer girl's family wants him to sign a prenup. Now it's the day of the wedding and the groom still hasn't signed. Seriously. We've not even signed it for a whole while now. I don't want to. No one knows what's in this precious prenup, because Big Daddy won't let anyone see it. To me, it seems that uh, it's like implying that we're going to get divorced. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to get divorced. I don't understand. I mean, uh, if I make money, you're going to you're gonna have half of it. I don't want your half. I'm just protecting my investment. Oh. I don't want anything. Just you don't want anything. I, I, I don't no think that you have to sign it. He doesn't have to sign the prenup yet. I thought we knew that you... My parents have one. He's going to sign it. Don't worry. I don't even know why anybody would get married if this is all they're thinking about is the property he has, she has. Who gets married under those conditions? I'm very business-minded. I mean, frankly, no offense, but your son can't pay, like, for McDonald's. I pay for everything. And that's something that I need to protect. I mean, I still want to marry him. I just don't want to lose all my in the process. Tara, this is like going into the marriage already planning on a divorce. No, it's not. It is, it's honey. Not. It is. It's preparing for something that may or may not be inevitable. This is a very discussion. Thank you. And I'll tell you what. Can you sign it? We'll discuss it later. Let me give you guys some time to talk about it. We're going to come over. Time to you know, discuss it later. It's right here. And and you want to sign it? That's going to set the tone. So you two need to discuss this. I'm second generation corporate lawyer, and Sarah's making a name for herself, for her family, for the Marshals. That's why it's really important for her to stick to her guns and get that free up. All this three years and. Yeah, I mean, I've known this from day one. My heart says one thing and my head says another. And in my entire life, every time I've listened to my head, it's been a million times better than when I listen to my heart. I love you, but I'm not marrying you unless you sign that paper. And that's it. With things getting tense, I hope cracking open some bubbly would calm people down. Nope. And this is what she wants. I think this is what you want. Look, nobody, nobody in that house without him saying something. And that's what I'm afraid of. I don't want either one of them. They kept making it feel like um, we didn't trust them or we were putting them down. It's, it's just a matter of, of business. I know that my son is an honorable person. Well, people change. Worst, the best and worst in families, I know that. Hopefully they will come to a decision together. Sign it already. Jeez, when you make millions selling your comic book, it'll be yours and yours alone. Like a long time ago. A little bit, because so too. Yeah. I love her and I don't want to not marry her. So we decided to do it. I decided to get married. Sign yeah. here, stay here. Okay. He's afraid that if he did not sign that thing, she was going to beat him with it and walk out. Then where would he be? If he drinks over there, enough drinking, you can't get married while you're drinking? Uh -huh. Well, actually, it is. <laughs> Miss Lawyer, you know that. <laughs> Please rise. There we go. It's a wedding. For richer and for poor. For richer and for poor. Can it help? She said, I do it because I love her. Well, that means a lot to me. It is with my pleasure and my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. Well, in the next five years, hopefully he'll get a job or publish a novel <laughs> or something. I'm really excited about Allie's wedding day today. The staff finally gets to meet her bride, Bridget. They're 